welcome back to my channel if you're a subscriber and if you're new here hi my name's brogan and i make videos about sewing fashion and all things crafty i am so excited to be filming this video for you guys today it's been highly requested and i'm finally here to answer all of your questions about everything that i wore on the show including things that i've made things that i've bought so i've got it all here with me today to answer all your top questions about outfits and we're just going to jump straight into it so i'm sat a bit further back today just so i've got a bit more room to be showing you things we're going to start off with what i am wearing obviously this was my week one outfit it is one of my favorite things i've ever made and it is my classic shirred dress so if i come a bit closer so you can see this is in a really gorgeous pink and orange floral it is a poly cotton and i actually got this one from ebay so if you've been watching my videos for a while you will know that i'm a huge fan of an ebay bargain i buy quite a lot of fabric from ebay unfortunately i can't find this one anymore but i'm pretty sure that um stitch and ink who i will uh, link in the description box below. I'm pretty sure that they've started selling it now. But I made this out of three meters of the poly cotton. I think it literally cost me about ten pounds to make, which is ideal. And I have done a whole tutorial about the start to finish process of how I make my shirt dresses. So again, I will leave that down below for you. What I love about shirt dresses is just how forgiving they are. I mean, I wore this on the show. I'm now very much pregnant and it still fits and is comfortable. I just feel like this is a dress that anyone could wear. No matter shape nor size, everyone looks great in a shirt dress. So if you've not made one yet, highly recommend it. Now, for shoes for this outfit, I got a lot of questions about shoes throughout the show. So you'll have to excuse the fact that they look a bit grubby now. But these are the sliders that I wore. So they're like a nude suede, like tie front slider. Now, I feel like you're going to get really annoyed at me through this video because I'm not the type of person that just has an endless wardrobe. So a lot of the stuff that I wore that I bought are from a fairly long time ago. So you can't necessarily buy them now, if that makes sense. But anyways, these are from Spain, which is even less helpful. Um, I lived in the south of Spain for a year and we go back there quite a lot. And I must admit that 75% of my shoe collection is from small Spanish boutiques because I love their shoes and they're really affordable. So that is what I wore with the dress. And then onto jewelry. Oh my goodness, the amount of questions that I got on jewelry. I think I was wearing different earrings on week one. I was actually wearing my star and moon earrings, but they're from the same place anyway. So I'm gonna show you my evil eyes. So I love these evil eye earrings. I definitely wore these on the show as well and they are from Swarovski. Most of my jewellery again is from Swarovski because I love it. Although it's kind of pricey, it's not too bad and I have worn these earrings solidly for about two years and they still look as good as new. So I really like the fact that they're a small hoop and the hoop has diamonds on as well and then it's got the little charm. I think I wore my star and moon version of this with this outfit I can't find them right now, which is worrying. They'll be somewhere. But they are also Swarovski as well. Okay, moving on to week two. It was sports week and I wore this cute little outfit. Oh, I absolutely loved this and it was so comfy to wear as well. So the t-shirt is in a light pink jersey. This is me made. I used the Tabitha t-shirt pattern by Tilly and the Buttons great pattern i think it's only in tilly's make it simple book but i would highly recommend it the book as a whole is fab so if you've not got it i would recommend it even just for the t-shirt pattern so i just got this pink jersey again off ebay guys if you don't shop on ebay for fabric what are you doing because it's great and then i got this little bee patch from etsy again i'll try and find the shop and link below and it's super handy because it's just an iron on so that didn't take me long to make at all and then i paired it with this little skirt 
this also is me made it is in a red and white polka dot viscose from so me sunshine and the pattern actually is a free tutorial from the hemming and it's her skirt pattern so you can see that it's got two tiers and i love the exposed ruffle that is another feature on me maids that i love is actually doing the ruffle on the outside i just think it looks so cute a uh, little fake drawstring this doesn't actually work but it looks cute and that was that outfit i think i just wore like standard white trainers with that so nothing really to report more and moving on to week three this was the dress that i wore this went down an absolute storm with you guys and unfortunately i don't have it to show you today because a lot of my stuff that doesn't fit me anymore i've just put in a suitcase in the garage because i just don't have space for clothes i don't wear so um to save me a trip to the garage because it is also really full of building stuff and i didn't want to have to climb through all that we're just gonna look at this photo um the fabric i got from minerva i'm pretty sure it's a rose and hubble lemon print fabric it's cotton poplin absolutely love it i think i originally wanted because they do a white version so a white background with the lemons on i originally wanted that and it was out of stock at the time so i bought the navy blue i'm so glad i did i think it looked so cute and the pattern that i used was the vicky sews uni dress that was actually the first version i've made and i've since made another version of the dress as a midi length this is what it looks like i have it on my instagram as well so it's safe to say that i absolutely love the pattern i often use the puff sleeve from that dress and add it to other things so if you like that style i would 100 percent recommend that pattern because it's a great one to be able to hack and use with other stuff. To go with that outfit, another question that I was literally getting by the hundreds was about this necklace. Guys, you all have such great taste because this is my absolute favourite piece of jewellery that I own. It is my um, multicoloured choker necklace and then I have my bee charm and I also have another evil eye because... You can never have too many. Now, I have some really sad news to impart and I'm not quite over it. This necklace once again was from Swarovski and I love this range. So Swarovski, I have a bone to pick with you because this was called the Remix Collection and the whole point is it's magnetic so you can take them apart. I'm not gonna be able to do it now, am I? Oh my gosh, Brogan, what are you doing? You can take them apart this actually completely comes separate and the idea is you can like make different pieces so you can put this together and make it to be a bracelet on its own which is super cute ignore my disgusting bruise by the way so you can make it into a bracelet if you have three of them you can make a long necklace i also have this silver one as well which i didn't wear on the show but i've just got a simple chain on the back and then this one has like a little star and then a what's that say shine i love them and they've discontinued them <laughs> so i know you're all going to be really upset because i'm telling you about these gorgeous necklaces and you can't even buy them i think they have a couple on their outlet hardly any and i absolutely loved the fact that you could buy the charms like the b and the i and add them on so seriously Swarovski if you're watching this you're gonna have a whole host of angry sores if you don't bring back that jewelry line moving on or we'll be here all day we are on to my next outfit which is this one. Oh, I adore this dress my love for this dress I can't even describe you guys all loved it too and I'm not surprised fabric can you guess? eBay. Again, I'm gonna have to try and look for the link because um, I bought it ages ago. This was so cheap. It was about three pound a meter. It's like a fake broderie anglais. So it does have um, perforated holes in it, but this isn't actually stitched. It's like printed on. 
and then you've got almost like I feel like this is very Asian inspired floral it really reminds me of like cherry blossom and things like that so I wore this dress um with a nude slip underneath because obviously it's slightly sheer but I do that with quite a few of my dresses anyways and the pattern is the Homer and Howells Ingrid dress oh it's such a unique design I love the asymmetric um waistline it's so flexible as well I've also made a top which I will put here again that's up on my Instagram and that one I didn't go asymmetric I used the shorter pattern piece and added a peplum so you can do so much with this pattern again it's got a button closure at the back super easy to just pull on and off and a nice I would say this is like a starter puff sleeve if you're not sure if the puff sleeve life is for you try something like this first to ease yourself in and I promise you that after a while you will be to this level of puff because it's an addictive situation. For that outfit, you might recognise these shoes because they're exactly the same as my nude ones. Again, these were from a boutique in Spain, but they're like a mustard yellow colour. They look really gross now because I've worn them so much, but I've honestly had these for about four years and worn them to death. Who else is the kind of person that when they find something that they like, they buy in every single colour? Because that is me. They also had these in a baby blue and there isn't a day that I don't wake up and regret not buying them because now I wish I had them in blue too. Okay, now we're getting on to a few more outfits that were actually purchased. Obviously for weather, comfort reasons, not all of my me maids were that suitable for filming. We did have to wear them two days in a row. It had to be comfortable. We also filmed a bit outside, so I couldn't be freezing cold. So by the time we got to like halfway through, I ended up having to wear a lot of um, like ready to wear stuff. All of this had been in my wardrobe for like a significant amount of time. So I can't necessarily link them for you. Um, I will try if I can find it, but I think a lot of them will not be in store anymore. So let's talk about the vest. So many of you thought I made this. I honestly wish that I could say that I made this. I'm just not that good a knitter, guys, or crocheter or whatever this is. I can't crochet. I really want to learn to crochet. I can only knit. This would take me five years. So I didn't make it. I bought it. It is from Zara. This was a spontaneous purchase. I saw it. The colours make me happy. Dressing colourfully just makes me happy. I'm a better person when I like my outfit. I'm really pleased I bought this. It is like a cropped length, but I did actually tuck this under and safety pin it to make it even more cropped. It's super warm, so I love that. And then again, I wore it with this baby pink tiered maxi underneath. This is also from Zara. I can remember at the time I bought this, I think it was about £50. For me, that's quite a lot to spend on something ready to wear. I'm so glad I bought it because I have worn this to death. It is so comfortable. It's fairly long. It's kind of between a midi and a maxi length, but I just love it. You can layer it like I did with the best. It looks gorgeous on its own. I'm just really sad because this doesn't fit me anymore. <laughs> but hopefully post baby, I can get back in this because I love it loads. Carrying on, another ready to wear piece was this set. I loved this set. Now this was a purchase purely for the show. I'm not even going to lie to you. I saw it and I thought, would that look cute on TV? Yes, it would. I have worn it many times since though, I can confirm. It is this super cute little card again. And then it came with, if I get out, the matching skirt um I do tend to just like safety pin this waistband in a bit because the skirt was a bit long for me so I just fold it in and then wear the two together now let's talk about this I know this is gorgeous right and I'm almost ashamed to admit that this is from one of those disgusting fast fashion brands um I was scrolling through Facebook and this was advertised as a Facebook advert and I saw it and it wasn't even that expensive so I bought it. I just about knocked my mug over. It's from a shop called Cider. Guys, buy this at your own peril. It's gorgeous. I love it. 
It arrived and it smelt like it had been in a sewer. I wish I was joking. I had to wash this about three times. It smelt so damp, but now I love it. So it was worth the effort. I also did buy a couple of other things at the same time. And when I tell you they were hideous and the fit was awful. So just please know that I am not endorsing cider in any way. I would say if you love this set, buy it because it's great. Be prepared to wash it. I cannot, you know, be responsible for any other purchases from them because, yeah, they were a bit dodgy, but it looked cute. So we're getting there. Well done if you're still with me, although I could talk about outfits all day. So if you're anything like me, then we're meant to be best friends. I do not have my next outfit to show you. So this is the outfit that I'm talking about. Again, this is one that I've currently lost to the suitcase in the garage. But I have also made this dress before. So I thought I'd just show you this version. So I used the Bakerloo pattern by Nina Lee London. One of my all time favorite patterns. So it features the big collar, the puff sleeve. I made mine in the black floral viscose that I'm pretty sure I got from Pound a Meter. I'm sure you guys will know by the end of this video how much of a bargain hunter I am. No, not all their fabrics are one pound a meter. Ironic. I think it was maybe about 2 50 but it was cheap. I love the dress. It's like a smock style dress, so it's loose at the waist. I inserted like quite a large white frill in my other one. For this one, I went for a small lace instead. And again, button closure at the back because I don't have time to sew zips. I find it really stressful. I can do it, but why would I if I could just do a button? We're on to my 1930s outfit. So you can probably tell by this point, I was beginning to be absolutely freezing. <laughs> so this was the first week that I went for comfort and warmth over anything else. And I wore this jumper just with some jeans and white trainers. And I love this jumper. Again, I had loads of messages about this. This one is ready to wear. It's from River Island. I love the peplum design on the bottom. I just think it's really unique. I'm not a big fan of wearing like jumpers because I think a lot of the time they just look a bit, I don't know, non-shapely on me. But this peplum is the ideal because it really cinches the jumper in at the waist and I loved wearing this. Now, I paired this with these earrings, which I wear all the time. You would have seen them in my um, Hindu picture that I put up on Instagram. I wore them for my Hindu as well. These were a complete impulse purchase, these earrings. I think they were about £12. So both of them were from River Island. I actually bought them at the same time. And these go with everything. I just love the small hoop again. I think that's always my favourite style of earring is like a small hoop with a dangle. They've got little pearls on. 100% say look in River Island for some cute costume jewellery pieces because I don't often go in there. So this was a nice surprise for me. Two outfits left. This was my semi-final outfit and it was my satin tunic dress. Again, Zara, you'll be getting the trend now. If I've not made it, generally nine times out of 10, it's from Zara. I'm a sucker for Zara, what can I say? I just love it. I think they have some really nice designs. It's a good price point. It is in a satin fabric and it reminds me of like almost a Versace chain print. That's the vibe it gives me. But then it also has like more mythical prints on chain print belts i love this a lot it was from at least a year ago so not sure if you'd be able to find the exact one but they do often come out you know in autumn winter they usually have like a satin chain print dress because my mum has one that's not too different from a couple of years before so maybe this upcoming autumn they'll do something similar and last but not least, we have my final outfit. So the idea behind this outfit was obviously I was doing my final made to measure in memory of my grandma. Um, her name was Nancy. She is, was, I should say, one of those women who 
was always dressed up, wouldn't go out the house without her lipstick and her pearls on. We all loved her so much. She was the queen of animal print. So I wanted to embrace that in my own outfit as well. This was the skirt that I wore, midi skirt in like a stretchy jersey material. It had a slit up the front and then this really nice sort of, I don't know, tie detail, ruched detail in the front. This was from, I'm out of breath because I just ran to get my headband. Whew, Brogan, get a grip. This was from Pool and Bear. So if you don't know about Pool and Bear, I found this brand when I was in Spain. Basically, I believe it's owned by Zara as well. Hence why I love it. There's basically Zara, Pool and Bear, Stradivarius. They're all like sister companies. So it's definitely a Zara vibe, but a bit younger. So this skirt was from Pool and Bear years ago literal years ago but definitely check out pull and bear if you've never shot there before and then i paired it with this blouse statement collar because that's a bit of me this time it was like a broadery collar which i just think is such a gorgeous detail and ruched cuffs this <laughs> was from zara but from zara kids because i will say guys if you are like an extra small to small in Zara, don't skip past the kids section because sometimes their age 13 to 14 is similar, if not bigger than an extra small. So yeah, this was a 13 to 14. It was quite cropped, so I couldn't wear it with, you know, like normal waisted jeans. But if you're wearing a high waisted skirt or something and tucking it in, fits perfectly. And it's so cheap because it's kids. I think it was about $9.99. So yeah, if you are a petite gal, that's always somewhere that you can look as well for some options. And then accessories, I wore this stunning headband. It is so sparkly, look at that. I absolutely loved this headband. Um, I've not actually worn it since, but I feel like I need to because so sparkly i got this from a small business on etsy i will link it below it was really affordable considering it's pretty much handmade i think she stuck all these bits on so yeah that was super cute and then the shoes more sparkle can you tell that i was going for a sparkly theme for the final i mean it was the final there kurt geiger i've looked at these shoes about five million times before uh, they were a bit spendy but they were kind of my treat for getting that far so they're a nude leather slide slider slip on shoe i do love sliders i just think they're so comfortable and you can dress them up or down and then they're completely bejeweled love them so much they pretty much have these in all the time they usually i think they do them in black as well and also with a kitten heel i will say full disclosure they're not the comfiest like you know my other ones like these ones i could literally go shopping in them and wear them all day long and they feel really secure on my foot i think because these ones are really quite flat you almost have to work hard with your toes to keep them on but they're not that comfortable if you're going to wear them for a long time but i think as a special occasion shoe um they're really cute so would recommend for that well guys that is it we've made it through all the outfits i really hope i've remembered everything if there's anything i've forgotten please just comment below i'm sure there's a few accessories or things but honestly it was such a long time ago now i forget what i wore i really really hope you enjoyed me talking you through my outfits fashion is such a big part of my life whether it's something that i've made or things i've bought and have worked into my wardrobe so Hopefully you enjoyed these outfit chats and hopefully there will be many more of them in the future. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for me. It just means more people can see my videos and I know what you're enjoying. So yeah, that is it. I will see you in the next video.